Hey, what's up, Street Gods? There I come from there. I come Street Photography Blog. Pardon the echo, I'm in an elevator. So, essentially, I wanted to share some practical tips with you on social media and social media platforms. So, a lot of the times we're thinking, oh, you know, what should I use? Should I use Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, etc., to best create and share my work? This is what I've realized. I had a little mini epiphany this morning is that the goal is. So with social media and social media platforms, there's two things. The first thing is creating something, and the second thing is sharing something. So a lot of the times people are like, oh, you know, I like to create Instagram because it's good for my creativity. I actually think that Instagram is good. It's a really good platform for you to share your images, but it doesn't actually foster creativity or innovation or uh, new ways of sharing your work. So what I mean to say by that is this, is a lot of the time, us as photography entrepreneurs, better light here, okay. So oftentimes us as photography entrepreneurs, we want to create more sources of innovation. We want to create new things. And I've actually found one of the best platforms for innovation is actually surprisingly YouTube because as photographers, we totally get stuck in this mindset of just images, of just pictures. But I think creativity and visual artwork and imagery and life and everything, it's, there's so many different sensory perceptions for us to explore. So not just sight, which is images versus with the pictures, but for audio. So audio being like the spoken word, the ambient sounds, also uh, music and improvisation. And also the thing that I'm super excited for, I'm sure you've seen a lot of these videos on YouTube, is like 360 technology and also more interactive ways to get your viewer to be more engaged. And the awesome thing with this new 360 technology, especially with the GoPro Fusion, is you upload it directly to YouTube and people who follow you on YouTube could feel part of this 360 experience. And now I know three, uh, Facebook offers support for 360 slash virtual reality and I'm sure Instagram will have the support pretty soon too. But realize that I think as you as a visual artist, you as an entrepreneur, you as a creator, you as an innovator, the purpose isn't for you to just keep getting more people to see your photos, to see your artwork, to keep clicking like on your stuff. But rather, I think the point is for you to keep innovating, for you to keep creating new forms of art, for you to create new things and for you to create new ways of creating the new things. So for example, I've been happy that for myself that I've been innovating doing more GoPro, POV, street photography stuff, doing more educational stuff, and also like showing new techniques, um, new ways of editing on iMovie, or creating beats in GarageBand, or... Uh, doing even these Coco Gorilla Talks, new ways of storytelling of me just... Instead of just blogging, typing everything on the computer, which is, I get a lot of carpal tunnel on my hands, I could talk faster. So just creating new ways of sharing information via like uh, videos like this. And I find the most joy through innovation, through the joy of coming up with the new ideas, and also through the joy of doing the new ideas. Now, the issue with social media is that it actually doesn't really facilitate creation. It doesn't actually... I don't think it actually encourages you to try new things because Instagram is very formulaic. You know, you make a picture, right? You upload to Instagram, you don't want to upload more than once a day or else you'll fuck up with the algorithm. Upload it exactly at noon Pacific time or whatever your time is. And that's what's going to maximize your likes. That's what's going to maximize more people to follow you. And there's really no way to innovate on Instagram. It's sad, like, you know, some people have been doing collages, which I think are pretty cool. Uh, you can upload short video clips, which is pretty cool. You could also create, like, little sets or galleries of your images. But it's so, like, constraining for your creative abilities. Like, you must upload photos chronologically. And once you've uploaded images, you cannot rearrange it. So that kind of sucks. Um, you know, you can see Instagram photos on desktop or laptop, but still the, the UI sucks. It's best optimized for mobile. And if people want to easily download your pictures, they can't do that. I mean, some people see that as a benefit. I see it actually as a negative. And, you know, 
it discourages us from thinking outside the box. You're essentially thinking inside the box. That's why Instagram, I think, is overall bad for our creativity is that you think inside the box. Now, I'm not saying that everyone should delete their Instagrams because I still think it's a good way for people to share images and it's, it's good for that. But still, if your job as a photography entrepreneur is to innovate and to think outside the box, think outside the box. Instagram is a box. It's the ultimate box. It's the icons a box. All the photos you upload are small boxes and you're stuck in this box and you're stuck even sadder, you're stuck in Facebook's boss, uh, box. A lot of us, you know, deleted our Facebook, but we kept our Instagram. And it's like, hmm, don't you realize that Instagram is actually owned by Facebook? And as, uh, you know, my, my prediction is, you know, more or less people have fled away from Facebook because of the data scandal and, you know, it's kind of lame, whatever. But in the next five years, Instagram maybe even sooner, maybe like a year, two years, three years, I don't know, whatever. Instagram is essentially going to be just another Facebook because A, Instagram is Facebook. Facebook bought Instagram for a billion dollars, whatever. And you can see that Instagram is becoming more and more Facebook-y, right? Like, it used to be all the f uh, stuff you uploaded on Instagram was all chronological. Everyone saw what was on your feed. But now, they're starting to filter it down because obviously, Facebook wants to incentivize more advertiser and, uh, advertisers to put in. So they're starting to integrate the Facebook newsfeed algorithm to be integrated into Instagram. And therefore, that means that you, as an Instagrammer, are going to get fewer people to see your photos and stuff like that. And also, Facebook and Instagram are closed boxes, whereas I'm more pro, like, you know, blogging, WordPress.org, um, doing YouTube because anyone on the internet can see it, and also Google could index it. So, once again, realize. It's very important for you as an entrepreneur, as a photography creator, to think outside the box. Think of new ways of visual storytelling and think about, really think about why do you use Instagram? Am I using Instagram really? Is it really helping you be more innovative and come up with new ideas or new ways of presenting images? Or is it just a way for you to just maximize the number of people who could see yourself, which is fine too. So whatever your, the purpose is of you using Instagram or social media, it's, it's, I think it's valid, legit. Just know what you do. So I would love to hear from you. Just leave a comment below saying, why you use social media, why you use Instagram, is it because you know you want to share your images, is it because you want to share your joy of your photography, is it because you want to share your experiences, is it because it's a marketing branding tool, is it you know is it because of FOMO, like you feel like you're missing out if you're not using it, or uh, something else. So love to see your thoughts, leave a, uh, a link or a comment in the description below and um, and yeah, also check out my, my new course, Ultimate Beginners, Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Photography Entrepreneurship, where you learn more awesome hacks and ways to think outside the box in your photography. Also link in the description below. So thank you guys so much for watching. And one last plug for my buddy, Carl Edwards. Follow him, Street Shoot R, a great channel on street photography. And also another guy, uh, I forget his real name, but the Angry Photographer. This guy was awesome. He also gave me a shout out last, uh, last time, but... <laughs> He's the ultimate badass in photography. He just says it how it is, says what's on his mind. Also, super smart dude. A uh, lots of good guys. Um, also, check out Kai, Kai Man Wong. He's not on Digital Rev anymore, but I think he's thriving more than ever. He's doing cool other stuff. Other stuff to check out. Um, SF Street Photo, a big street photography festival. I'll put all the links in the description below. Really, Ken Walton, who runs the festival, good friend of mine. He's doing some cool stuff there. Also, my buddy Sean Lotman selling his book, uh, Sunlanders, probably my favorite uh, color photography book. Other shout outs. Um, my buddy Josh White just put out a zine of his career work called Neverland, really cool stuff. Anyways, lots of really cool dope stuff happening. Check out the link below. Never stop innovating, never stop exploring, creating. Let's create the future we desire to see in the world. Peace out.